Once upon a time, in the heart of the vast African savanna, there was a small but thriving kingdom known as Novu. The land was rich with wildlife and resources, and its people were known for their warmth and hospitality. However, the kingdom had fallen under the cruel rule of King Bona, a ruler whose heart was as barren as the deserts to the north. King Bona was obsessed with power and wealth. He taxed his people heavily, forcing them to walk long hours in the scorching sun while he feasted in his grand palace. His cruelty knew no bounds, he often punished those who could not pay their taxes by taking their land and their children as slaves. The people of Novo lived in constant fear, whispering tales of rebellion only in the safety of the darkest nights. In a humble village on the outskirts of the kingdom lived a young girl named Osha. She was known for her courage and wisdom beyond her years. Osha's father, a respected elder, had been taken by King Bona's soldiers for failing to meet his tax demands. Determined to free her father and bring justice to her people, Osha devised a plan. One night, under the cover of darkness, Osha snuck into the palace. She knew the layout well, having listened to tales from an old servant who once worked there. Her goal was to reach the king's chamber and find something that would expose his tyranny to the neighboring kingdoms. As she navigated the palace, she overheard a conversation between the king and his adviser. They spoke of a hidden room filled with gold and treasures stolen from the people of Novu and neighboring lands. Asha followed the directions she had heard and found herself before a heavy wooden door. Using a small knife, she managed to pick the lock and entered the room. Inside, she discovered not only the treasures but also a ledger detailing the king's crimes. She knew this evidence would be enough to rally the other villages and gain the support of neighboring kingdoms. As she turned to leave, she was confronted by King Bona himself. The king, furious and wielding a sword, lunged at Osha. But Osha was quick and clever, she dodged his attack and managed to trip him, sending him crashing into a pile of gold. The noise alerted the palace guards, but by the time they arrived, Osha had already slipped away into the night with the ledger in hand. The next day, Osha presented the evidence to the village elders, who spread the word throughout the kingdom. The people of Novu, fueled by their newfound hope and courage, rose up against King Bona. With the support of neighboring kingdoms, they stormed the palace. King Bona, seeing that his reign of terror was over, attempted to flee but was captured by his own guards who had also turned against him. King Buana was brought to justice, and the treasures he had stolen were returned to the people. Osha's father and all those unjustly imprisoned were freed. Osha's bravery and wisdom earned her a place of honor among her people. Under new, fair leadership, Novu flourished once more, and the story of Osha's courage was told for generations to come. And so, the kingdom of Novo learned that even the most wicked rulers could not stand against the united strength and courage of their people.